Welcome to this video in which we will be making the 3D CAD model of this nut and bolt and then we will assemble them and will perform motion study analysis like this. So let's begin. First of all select file click on new select part and then click OK. We will be making the bolt first. At first change the background to plain white then select top plane click on sketch and select a polygon here make sure the sides are six here because you can make multiple sides so after making this polygon select the smart dimension and specify the distance between these two sides as 20 and after that go to features here and select the extruded boss base and specify the length of extrusion as 9 millimeter and then click OK and after that specify the appearance here go to appearance go to metal and in this metal I am going in this nickel and you can specify any appearance you like okay and now select the circle select this face and make a circle at this origin like this and now press the control button on your keyboard select this circle and this line and make relation as tangent and this is the tangent relation let me show you this is the tangent relation and now it's time to go to features select this extruded cut command and change this spline to through all check this flip option specify here 45 degree I wanted to create this profile so this profile has been created click this ok button and now we have to mirror the same feature on the back side for that we need a plane drop down this menu and uh, we need a plane at the center so we do not have any plane at the center so let's fix this issue cross this and you come to this uh, extruded boss select this edit features and from blind select this mid plane and then check the box so I hope so the problem is solved let's see select mirror and in here drop down this menu now find any mid plane and this top plane is in between the two walls and you can see the problem has been solved so in feature to mirror select this extruded cut and you can see the same profile has been mirrored at the back side as well and now select this face and then click on sketch and make a circle here at this origin and now let's specify the diameter of this circle I am specifying as 12 millimeter and then go to features and select extruded boss base specify here blind and length of extrusion is 40 and after that check this box and now we have to make a chamfer so select here chamfer select this edge and specify the parameter as 0 0.5 and you can see this chamfer has been created so now in whole wizard select this thread click ok here and in threat location we have to select this face uh, this one and in up to selection select this edge and now we have to specify some more parameters so select here die because we are creating external threads and let's specify the size so I'm 12 by 1.5 this one and uh, specify the cut thread here and specify right handed thread and we are done with the features so click OK here and the thread has been created and now simply save this file as uh, bolt and after that cross this window from here and open a new one we have to open a part file this time we have to create a nut so change the background to plain white 
and on top plane we have to make a hexagon like this and we have to specify the measurement similar 20 mm uh, this is similar to the bolt extruded up to 9 mm just like we have uh, done with the bolt and specify your mid plane length of extrusion is 9 mm and click enter specify the uh, appearance here you can specify any appearance okay so make a circle at this origin make sure it is the uh, tangent and then select extruded cut select here through all click this uh, slip option specify your 45 degree just like we have done this with the bolt and the profile like this has been created and again we will mirror the entities specify here the mid plane uh, and you can see the same profile has been created okay so select this face click on sketch and make a circle here the diameter of the circle is 10.38 mm 10.38 and now select the extruded cut option select here through all and then click ok now create a chamfer here so select chamfer select this edge and the other side of the edge this one and specify your 0.5 mm as dimension click ok and you can see the chamfer has been created okay. so in whole wizard select thread click ok here select this edge and up to selection window select this face and you can see we have to specify some parameters so from die to tap because this is internal thread okay so we are done click ok and now save this file as nut so save as nut so click on this rebuild option and now we have to open an assembly file this time click on new select assembly this time and click ok now we have to insert the bolt first ok so in insert file we have to insert the bolt and after that we have to insert the nut ok now right click on this uh, bolt and select this option it will be opened in a separate window select axis here in reference geometry and select this cylinder here and you can see the axis has been created this one okay click ok here and you can extend the length of this axis manually and if you cannot see any axis uh, let me show you how can you uh, appear the axis drop down this menu and select axis here and the axis will be visible press ctrl s and then cross the window and you can see in assembly we have this axis now we have to do similar thing with the nut so open it in separate file and in reference geometry select the axis and we have to specify this face and here you can see the axis is available and now we have to manually increase the length like this just we have to drag this from the corners okay press ctrl s and exit here and now just move the nut up to here and now select the mate option and in this window select both of these axes this one and this one and you can see now we can uh, 
move the nut on the surface okay so select this section view manually drag it up to here uh, select this section view again and drop down this menu and we have to go in bolt and in this bolt select this uh, front view and click ok now rotate it okay so we have to fix uh, the nut and bolt in such a way that there is no interference between the threads or you can say that both of these threads should not touch each other and now they are okay now select mate option and in this mate go to mechanical and in mechanical go to this screw select this upper face of the thread okay and this axis they are appeared here and now we have to specify some more parameters uh, make sure that you have selected this distances and revolution feature and here specify 1.5 because the pitch of our thread is 1.5 and then click ok and here you can see the nut is rotating perfectly on this bolt now exit the section view here and now hide these axes because there is no more need for these axes so right click on this axis and select this hide because we do not need any more and you can manually rotate these we can do uh, the same thing with motion study but before that select this mate and go to advanced mate select this uh, surface of the bolt and this surface of the nut and specify here 1 mm and you will see this nut will automatically move closer to the head of the bolt and specify some more options because we want to limit the motion of the nut on the bolt and then click ok so select this option and you can see the nut has moved here and you can uh, manually rotate this and you can move anti-clockwise and the maximum limit of the nut is this much you cannot go further so now uh, go to motion study analysis and in this specify 10 seconds and in settings specify 50 frames per second now select this contact option select both nut and bolt here and in this motor option uh, assign direction to the nut and specify the speed as uh, 150 rpm and then click on calculate so it's calculating now so the calculation uh, have took a lot much time and I am I have skipped that uh, portion and I am directly playing here. So if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.